Hello and welcome to all top fives. NASA is easily the leading name in space photography, and with so many probes, spacecraft and cameras up there in the cosmos, it's not unusual for them to come across unusual things. Here are five of the weirdest, mysterious and sometimes unexplained images from space. Number 5. Lights on Ceres Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and recently the NASA spacecraft Dawn has been approaching and exploring the dwarf planet. One of the first photos of Ceres to be captured shocked the world. The Hubble Space Telescope took these ultraviolet images, and there appeared to be a bright light shining from the rock's surface. As the Dawn spacecraft approached, it began to send back higher and higher resolution images of the white dot, of which there were now more than one. Scientists at NASA pondered over what could be so reflective on Ceres, suggesting ice, volcanoes and geysers, but parts of the internet assumed it was the byproducts of an alien life form, and the light from its civilization was shining out into space, much the same way as our Earth light does. Dawn got even closer, however, and eventually it was determined that the bright spots were sodium carbonate, a type of salt which must have been pushed up through the dwarf planet's crust by geological activity beneath. But for a time, this was a wild mystery that got many people's imaginations going. Number 4. Apollo 11 UFO Apollo 11 was the first spaceflight to land humans on the moon, if you're not a conspiracy theorist, that is and NASA took the opportunity to capture as much data as possible with this historic mission. There was a high-resolution image taken at some point on that mission of a much smaller section of the lunar surface, in all of its cratered glory. Here it is. Quite a marvel of a photo, actually, especially for 1969, but recently an anomaly was noticed in a tiny area near the top. It shows what appears to be some sort of dark cylinder, like a missile, with a white trail coming out behind it. The most obvious down-to-earth answer is that it's an artifact on the film, just a speck of corruption in the digital transmission or a literal speck of something on the physical film itself. There's another one just here, although it's very different. The thing is, those are the only two that I can really find on the whole image. Perhaps, as many have suggested, it's some sort of alien craft or missile captured taking off, or a weapon that we don't know about that the Earth has launched itself, accidentally caught on camera. Eh, yeah, not sure. Add to this some disputed claims that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin allegedly saw a UFO while on the Apollo 11 mission, and you've got to wonder at least a little. Number 3. Hexagon on Saturn in 1981, the Voyager mission, not to be confused with this Voyager, sent two spacecraft to investigate Saturn up close. They returned images of a peculiar hexagon pattern on Saturn's North Pole, larger than the Earth itself. Years later, in 2006, the Cassini spacecraft was also able to get some fantastic pictures, featuring the hexagonal weather pattern with a swirling vortex at its center. It sparked a huge debate as to what could be causing the unusual shape. Even more recently, it changed colour. Now no one is quite able to explain the unusual shape with certainty, and of course, conspiracy theories involving the Illuminati, hexagon cube symbolism and cults that somehow knew of the shape on Saturn and worshipped it centuries ago, they're all around. At Oxford University, researchers have been able to reproduce a similar shape, and many others, when rotating a circular tank of liquid in various ways, and it's thought that this reflects the behaviour in Saturn's composition and different gas cloud layers. Still though, it hasn't been explained as yet, just another interesting mystery awaiting a solution. Number 2. Black Knight Satellite Quite a famous one, this one. NASA released a photograph in 1998 featuring an object described as space debris. It's a particularly striking picture though, and it sparked the imaginations of millions. People turned the object the Black Knight and began speculating as to what it could be. Space debris doesn't really say much. Immediately, suspicions arose that it was an alien satellite, and people began dating it back to previous events. 
There were tenuous connections made to a 1973 claim by writer Duncan Lunan, who claimed his analysis of old radio echoes from space revealed a possible 13,000-year-old alien probe orbiting the moon. He admitted later, though, that he had been unscientific and made errors. People also connected the Black Knight to a 1963 UFO report by an astronaut, although that was also later revealed as a fake report. In 1960, the US Navy detected a dark object in orbit that they believed was a Soviet spy satellite, but it was proved to be a broken US satellite instead on further investigation. Still though, the dark satellite reports fueled people's suspicions of this Black Knight. And finally, dating back into 1954, newspapers ran a story about the US Air Force detecting two satellites orbiting Earth, despite no country having the technology to have launched one at that time. These articles were thought to be joking, but the connection to the Black Knight was made by people anyway. A video from 1998 on the STS-88 mission, showing the crew filming a thermal blanket accidentally let loose into orbit from the spacecraft, seems to answer everything. The black object is seen spinning and forming shapes very similar to the Black Knight photograph, and this certainly seems to put the matter to rest. It's a thermal blanket, then. Until early 2016, when a video of what appears to be this same Black Knight object was filmed by the ISS, the International Space Station, near the Soyuz spacecraft. Unless it was a new blanket lost, this would have to be explained as being the original blanket lost 18 years earlier. Now, given the size of the orbit around the Earth, what are the chances of this particular piece of debris showing up at the ISS? It's definitely a mystery, and people are still baffled by the Black Knight to this day. Number 1. Apollo 16 UFO Shadow since the Apollo missions were so high profile, people have scoured the many photos and hours of footage, looking for evidence of something out of the ordinary. And in one video, they've definitely found something pretty interesting. From the onboard camera on Apollo 16, the Moon's surface is clearly visible before the lunar orbiter comes into view. Yeah, that's a NASA spacecraft, not an alien one. This UFO isn't as clear as that, unfortunately. So, if you go back and look at the start of this scene, looking towards the edge of the Moon, there's a clear shadow of something that travels quickly across the surface and moves off-camera. Here it is slowed down. What could that be the shadow of? It's something big to be able to cast such a visible shadow on the Moon's surface like that, and this is looking towards the horizon, again suggesting it's something very large. Certainly, there's lots of debris and ice orbiting the Moon, but something that big? It's not the shadow of either of the Apollo 16 orbiting craft, because the shadow's travelling in the wrong direction, basically perpendicular to the filming spacecraft's movement. There is also a lot of noise on the film, with crackles, scratches, spots and everything appearing all over the place. However, none of it is as regular and well-defined as this particular shadow, suggesting it's something that was really there, rather than a coincidental artefact. This is raw footage from the Apollo 16 archives from NASA, so it's not been doctored, I promise you that. Hmm, it's a mystery for sure. What do you think it could be? And that's it from all top fives for this week. Please remember to try and be nice in the comments when discussing things, let's all get along. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and you can hit the subscribe button for weekly videos from me. So, peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.